I am so excited. This is the first time I am reviewing a prototype. Pre-production. Pre-production, sure. It looks perfect already. It works. It is a 3D printer for kids. And kids will love it. We spent a few days using the printer, using the apps, and making toys, of course. I will show you everything we printed in a minute. But I need to say, there is a big difference between you printing something for your kid or your kid actually printing stuff on their own. And it all begins with the box. Cooking machine. <laughs> Cooking machine? She's right. It doesn't look like daddy's 3D printers. It looks like a microwave. It came with a bunch of cool stuff to make toys and a roll of rainbow plastic. We started printing in five minutes. Everything that moves, moves inside. It is protected. No accidents. Do you have kids? Daddy, help! Put my hair! Oh, oh, oh. Kids. <laughs> it is a box, but they can watch it printing from the front from the side and from the top. And it has lights, LEDs inside the box, LEDs on the nozzle itself, and LEDs outside. When Sophie saw the lights, the colors, she wanted her printer close to her bed. Love at first sight. But when you see 3D printer for kids, you have to ask, is this a toy that kind of 3D prints or a 3D printer to make toys? Toy printers all in plastic, they have a bunch of flex, very inexpensive stepper motors. They have the bare minimum parts to make them print and they print very tiny things. The X-Maker is a 3D printer. It has a metal structure. It's quite heavy, actually. NEMA 17 stepper motors, part cooling fan, magnetic surface on a heated bed, dual Z axis, filament runout sensor, Wi-Fi, USB port for flash drives. <laughs> I hate micro SD cards. The touch screen is capacitive, just like a phone, in color, of course. And all the time, you see what you are going to print and internal storage. It doesn't matter if you print from a USB stick or from the computer or tablet using Wi-Fi. The printer always keeps it. So it's very easy later to pick something to print again, just from the printer itself. The folks at IME 3D assured me it is possible to use Cura Proto Slicer. I haven't tried it myself yet. They have their own slicer and I used it to print a 3D Banshee and to print this. So you don't need to print just toys. Let's discuss the Benji at the end of this video. Kids will use the X-Maker app and the app makes the whole thing special for kids with a bunch of cool things ready to print. And we also tried some of the themes. Each theme is like a tool to create certain types of toys and customize them. <laughs> Look at this, really. Themes, hands down, the best thing of the app. 
This is everything we could print just with the spool of filament that came with the printer. The spool finished when we were printing a warrior doll, and that was a cool test to see if the filament sensor works and what the printer does. The filament sensor worked. The job was paused. I had to cut here in the middle. Pull the tip up and pull down what was inside of the tube. I didn't see an option to unload the filament mid-print, but okay, I manually fed the new spool and told the printer to continue printing. Filament runout sensor is so useful. The Warrior doll looked beautiful. I chose the option to print the version that uses Technic connector pegs. Even so, <laughs> the doll builder still needs tweaking. <laughs> okay, so, okay, 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 yeah, later. <laughs> the app for Windows has more advanced modeling options for older kids. They try to make 3D modeling easier and more fun. I still think it's very hard. I would just stick to the things and things and make them grow. And when you print, the slicing process desperately needs a progress bar. Back to the printer. Our home has two Wi-Fi networks. The printer worked fine on the 2 GHz. It did not connect to the 5 GHz Wi-Fi. The printer can also create its own hotspot, and it worked much faster having the iPad closer to the printer because Wi-Fi is not so great in my daughter's bedroom. Anyway, once the printing starts, it always finishes well because the file is already on the printer itself. The build volume is not far from the Prusa Mini, much bigger than the toy printers. The speed is okay to slow, but the print quality is very nice. No tweaking, no tweaking out of the box. And David Eastman is an insane artist. So, is this printer for you, for your kids or students? I need you to know that I was not financially compensated to make this video, so here are my thoughts. I think it's awesome when a printer out of the box prints a 3D bench like this. No stringing, good overhangs, very, very smooth. This side is perfect. The other side got a bit overheated. I think it would be fixed tweaking the settings, but even better would be a second part cooling fan. I would also love auto-leveling, with a touch sensor to avoid using rafts. And a bigger print area would be cool as well. See where we go? That would make it a printer for me, not for my kid. What made this whole thing very special for my daughter is, one, the amazing collection of cute toys ready to print, and even more was a printer that is and looks simple. This is exactly designed for people that don't know and yet be able to enjoy 3D printing as a family or in the classroom. I don't know the price or when it's supposed to be delivered. iMe3D is launching a Kickstarter campaign. I am always cautious to recommend a Kickstarter, especially if the product is still in early development with rough edges, but that's not the case here. This printer works, software works. And last year, they also ran a Kickstarter campaign for the X-Kit Robot Toy Kit and it was delivered. You can watch my review of that kit here. I wish all the luck to the X-Maker team. My daughter loves it, and I guess your family would enjoy it too. I will put links in the description and more 3D printing toys for your enjoyment here. And subscribe. Are you a subscriber? Oh, you are the best! A second cooling part fan would be an awesome stretch goal.